This is a brief introduction to Torque. Torque is defined as the ability of a force to cause angular acceleration. In the rotational version of Newton's second law, angular acceleration is directly proportional to the net torque acting on an object and inversely proportional to its moment of inertia. In this simple example, you have a uniform object fixed to a rotational axis and a force acting on the object away from the rotational axis. This will have a tendency to rotate the object. Torque is a vector. Direction matters. You must set up a coordinate system. In rotational motion, your coordinate system should be set up around the rotational axis, defining counterclockwise or clockwise directions for positive or negative. The torque produced by an acting force has a magnitude that is the product of the radial distance at which the force is applied, the magnitude of the force, and the sine of the angle from the radial vector to the force vector. Here is an example. A force is applied at one meter. The magnitude of the force is 10 newtons. And the angle from the radial vector to the force is 40 degrees. The torque produced by this force is 6.4 meter newtons. Here is another example. The radial distance is 2 meters. The magnitude of the force is 15 newtons. And the angle from the radial vector to the force in this coordinate system is negative 120 degrees. The total torque by this force is negative 26 meter newtons. In this example, there are multiple forces producing torque. Force 1 produces 6.4 meter newtons of torque. Force 2 produces negative 6 meter newtons of torque. The net torque is the vector sum of these two for a total of 0 0.4 meter newtons. Forces that are applied through the rotational axis or along the radial vector produce no torque. 